Hello, it's me, CG Dean. Um, this piece I will call um, Providing False Information. Um, it's the belief of the prison officers of Brixton Prison, past, present and future, that uh, while on duty, especially the night staff, um, who are most exposed, um, are prepared to lie and uh, cover up each other's uh, whereabouts um, should this um, situation become un um, untenable and uh, like, uh, provide false alibis for each other by saying they were somewhere where they uh, were not necessarily there. But the point being is that, that these officers are clever. They will use um, situations like their tea breaks, um, their lunch time periods, um, or any respite periods they have in the day or when there's periods of inactivity within the prison to come in to do this operation um, uh, regarding being um, hooked up to the satellite computer program and work this situation. It's believed that their absence won't be noticed by uh, other members of staff or the prisoners or the management while they partake in this activity. Um, it's a, a, a it's a rotor uh, system they have of people coming in and out. It's usually the same people, um, day in and day out. Um, it alternates with their uh, with their schedule, their work schedule. They could be day shift one day, night shift the next, or whatever. Because uh, I'm not afraid with how their system works. But there's a permanent connection or a permanent conspiracy going on in order to do this. So even when they're in each other's company doing this, they're prepared to lie to each, uh, about it for each other to say they were elsewhere. It's that they're trying to paint the perception that this is um, a computer-generated, voice-activated machine that uh, computers talk to each other. Computers don't actually physically talk. They give uh, uh, commands through data. Um, it's the, the digital processing is one issue, but the, there's a fundamental program to most satellites um, that they have on board information. But in this particular case, it's not a satellite, it's a computer, it has a hard drive. It needs to be initiated, and this one's initiated uh, permanently. It's not, it doesn't stop. It goes 24 hours a day, um, you know, seven days a week, year on, year on. Um, the capabilities with it include uh, Wi-Fi laptops and remote control access. Now, if they don't have these and these are hidden, um, then that could change the situation. But if it's not capable of that in the first place, that will be the future, uh, the future generations to come. So I'm covering it both ways. I believe they have it because this technology is so uh, unbelievable. Um, you know, there's no commercial entity like this, even though there's supercomputers available uh, that can break super encryptions and that. This um, surpasses them. Um, yeah, you'd think this technology came from another planet. Um, but this is one of the reasons why these prison officers think they can lie and cheat in that, because um, what it relies on, in part, anyway, um, it's to hook up to organic matter, whether it be human beings, animals, whatever, or plants, um, and have a conversion process. Whoever is the scientist behind this, a bloody genius if they've done that, I mean, yeah, it's alleged that certain member of the royal family talks to their plant or plants, and uh, you know, well, they apparently they grow and they blossom. Um, that's a theory, but I don't know that for a fact. I'm not a gardener, but it's the belief of these people to plant the seed into your mind um, that the situation is hopeless that you're in, uh, and physically and emotionally to rescue into giving up information and to killing yourself. The problem is. Once you, you've died, the person who has done this, um, who's actually committed this offence, every other officer involved, past, present and future, will lie to protect that officer, to stop them being arrested, because if that officer is arrested, the whole prison will go to jail, uh, every prison officer, because um, there is no way to establish it any other, uh, any other way. Um, the, one of the crime scenes there is the computer room they're using. Establish the computer room, <coughs> you establish the guilt, you establish the premeditation because it's so well documented with me through my um, doctors, the local police, um, you know, that this is going on. Even the Prime Minister, or the former Prime Minister I should say, 
um, the current Prime Minister is aware of the situation but not quite a with the technical details yet but I will be going back to him uh, and letting him know soon uh, with further information. Thank you.